Have you heard of meningitis? Did you know that this infection is serious and can be deadly without prompt antibiotic treatment? My name is Dr. McGinty, and in this video, I will talk about meningitis, its symptoms, causes, treatment, risks, and complications, and share the best way to be protected against this sometimes dangerous and life-threatening infection. But first, let's not be too alarmed. Although it is very severe, meningitis is not very common, and I should start by defining what it is. Meningitis is an inflammation of the fluid and membranes surrounding the brain and spinal cord. These membranes are called meninges. The inflammation from meningitis typically triggers symptoms such as headache, fever, and a stiff neck. Most cases of meningitis are caused by a viral infection, but bacteria, parasites, and fungi also can cause it. Some cases of meningitis improve without treatment in a few weeks. Others can be fatal and require emergency antibiotic treatment. Viral infections are the most common cause of meningitis. That's followed by bacterial infections and, rarely, fungal and parasitic infections. Because bacterial infections can lead to death, learning the symptoms is essential. Early meningitis symptoms may be similar to the flu, and symptoms may develop over several hours or over a few days. If you're watching this video for yourself or a family member or friend, possible meningitis symptoms do include sudden high fever, stiff neck, severe headache, nausea or vomiting, confusion or trouble concentrating, seizures, sleepiness or trouble waking, sensitivity to light, no appetite or thirst, skin rash in some cases, such as in meningococcal meningitis. In children under two, infections will look a bit different. High fever, constant crying, being very sleepy or irritable, trouble waking from sleep, being inactive or sluggish, not waking to eat or feeding, vomiting, a bulge in the soft spot on top of the baby's head, and stiffness in the body and neck. Infants with meningitis may be hard to comfort. They may even cry harder when held. Now that I've listed all the symptoms, you may be wondering when to see a doctor. It's recommended to seek immediate medical care if you or someone in your family has meningitis symptoms, such as fever, severe headache that doesn't go away, confusion, vomiting, or stiff neck. It's also important to talk to your healthcare provider if you've been exposed to someone with meningitis. That may include a family member or someone you live or work with. You may need to take medications to prevent getting an infection yourself. Now that you are aware of the symptoms, it's also important to know about the risk factors for meningitis. I've listed five. One, skipping vaccinations. Risk rises for anyone who hasn't completed the recommended childhood or adult vaccination schedule. Two, age. Children under five and adults over 65 are at the highest risk, but some types of meningitis are most common among young adults. Three, living in a community setting. College students living in dorms, personnel on military bases, and children in boarding schools and childcare facilities are at greater risk of meningococcal meningitis, which is transmitted through droplets from infected persons and can spread quickly in crowded living quarters. Four, pregnancy. Pregnancy increases the risk of an infection caused by listeria bacteria, which is usually transmitted through undercooked meat products and may cause meningitis. The infection increases the risk of miscarriage, stillbirth, and premature delivery. Five, a weakened immune system. HIV, having your spleen removed, alcohol use disorder, diabetes, the use of immunosuppressant drugs, and other factors that affect your immune system increase the risk of meningitis. Up-to-date vaccination is very important for people in these groups. Meningitis complications can be severe. The longer you or someone in your family has the disease without treatment, the greater the risk of permanent neurological damage. Complications of meningitis can include hearing loss, memory problems, learning disabilities, brain damage, trouble walking, seizures, kidney failure, shock, and death. With prompt treatment, even people with severe meningitis can have good recovery. Before we close up this video, I would also like to share prevention tips against meningitis. Common bacteria or viruses that can cause meningitis can spread through coughing, sneezing, kissing, or sharing eating utensils, a toothbrush, or a cigarette. These steps can help you prevent meningitis. Wash your hands. Careful hand washing helps prevent the spread of germs. Teach children to wash their hands often, especially before eating and after using the toilet, spending time in a crowded public place, or petting animals. Show them how to thoroughly wash and rinse their hands. 
Practice good hygiene. Don't share drinks, foods, straws, eating utensils, lip balms, or toothbrushes with anyone else. Teach children and teens to avoid sharing these items too. Stay healthy. Maintain your immune system by getting enough rest, exercising regularly, and eating a healthy diet with plenty of fresh fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. Cover your mouth. When you need to cough or sneeze, be sure to cover your mouth and nose. If you're pregnant, take care with food. Reduce your risk of listeria infection by cooking meat, including hot dogs and deli meat, to 165 degrees Fahrenheit or 74 degrees Celsius. Avoid cheeses made from unpasteurized milk. Choose cheeses that are clearly labeled as being made with pasteurized milk. Wondering about vaccinations? Some forms of bacterial meningitis are preventable with proper vaccination. Different vaccinations are available as routine recommended vaccines for children starting at about two months of age and for adults. There's also an option for healthy but previously unvaccinated people who have been exposed in outbreaks. Getting vaccinated is the best way to be protected, including routine childhood vaccines and any adult boosters or vaccines that may be indicated based on your underlying health conditions and risks. Want more info? If you still have questions or concerns after watching this video, I invite you to reach out to your local healthcare provider in order to get more information. It's important to remember to seek immediate medical care if you suspect that you or someone in your family has meningitis. Early treatment of bacterial meningitis can prevent serious complications. Being aware is being preventive. Thanks for watching.